Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Appreciate you guys stopping by to uh, hear me talk about your favorite topic. I think it is, anyway, because you're watching this video. We're here to talk about that smell good, that smell good. All right, so um, my name is Deja L. Hicks Jr. Um, to all my new watchers and people who are stopping by for the first time, welcome. Um, if you like what you're hearing, do yourself and myself a favor and hit uh, the subscribe button when you're done, click that bell. Um, you'll be notified every single time I drop a brand new fragrance video. To all my returning subscribers, what's good, y'all? Hope everything is going well, healthy, you got money in your pocket, your family's doing good, hopefully everybody's doing good out there, okay? Um, so today, here to talk about something that, you know, I'm really excited about, and I kind of waited so long to get my hands on this fragrance, but as soon as I got it, I wore it, um, you see me kind of gush over it on my uh, uh, Max Aroma haul video, um, kind of like a first impressions right away. But I've worn this um, for a full day, and um, I'm ready to talk about it, really give an honest review and an honest opinion on it. All right, so let's get right into it. Uh, today we're talking about none other than from the house of Aquadigio. We're talking about Aquadigio Profumo. All right, Aquadigio Profumo. All right, lovely, lovely bottle, lovely bottle there. All right, so today, like today, just running around, you know, running some errands, checking out some new fragrances, um, just hanging out with the family. And um, I throw this on, man, and just really excited to see, you know, what it was gonna do, and boy, did it do. All right, so um, we're gonna talk about the performance, um, how it smells, you know, where can you wear it, um, how many spray, all that. I'm just gonna get into everything, all right? So let's go ahead and talk about how it smells. So like I said, you know, um, just hang out today, you know, riding around, doing a little shopping, um, hanging out with the family, and as soon as I sprayed it on my skin, man, you just get that, you know, that a, a richer, more deeper uh, version of Aqua Dijon. Um, but this one is a little bit more spicy, warm spicy to be exact. You know, you smell that uh, patchouli in here. You definitely get some some watery, some aquatic notes in here um, as well. Um, um, and incense, um, you get that as well. And it just makes this concoction, man, that is just um, pretty darn good, if, uh, if I do say so myself. So, like I said, it smells like it, you know, the smell is just giving you depth, it's giving you body to the original DNA of Aqua Dijo, which is a classic. Um, and this one's been held it, man. A lot of people swear by this. You know, I smelled it, you know, before, and I thought it smelled good, but I didn't pick up a bottle um, I just kind of went along. I think my first Aqua Dijo was the original, and then I got, I think my second one was Absolute. I was tempted to get Profondo, but I went ahead and got Absolute. And then my third one is this one um, right here. So it smells incredible. I really enjoyed it. I was, you know, it's rare that I get a new fragrance and I kind of bust it out the box and wear it like the same day or the very next day. But this one did it for me, man. So the hype is real. Now the thing about this one is rumors are swirling. This thing is going to be discontinued any day now. Um, this thing is being pulled from the shelf. Something's going on out here uh, concerning the Aqua Di Gio Profumo. So with that being said, I'm watching YouTube, uh, you know, the little different chats that I'm in. Um, I see on Instagram, I see on Twitter that the fragrance community is saying, yeah, man, this stuff is getting harder and harder and harder to find. So I decided not to play with it. I went ahead and cop Max Aroma, got a great deal on it. I think this stuff, a 4.2 ounce bottle is about, uh, I wanna say like around 150-ish in-store retail. And I got my bottle for just under $100. That's right, just under a hundred dollars. Got a great sale going on at Max Aroma. I was able to get 10% off as well. So I had to get it because sooner or later this stuff is gonna be 200, $250 if you wanna get your hands on this, if it is being discontinued. So do your research, see what you can find, but it's a great chance that this one might be on the way out, okay? So like I said already, it smells fantastic. If you like the Aqua Dijo DNA, which I mean, I don't really know nobody who doesn't like it, they have so many different flankers now, but this one is the deepest one, the darkest one. 
kind of smoky, spicy. You do get some aquatic mineral type notes in here as well, and it's, it's fantastic. This is a parfum concentration, and you smell that. I mean, right now it's about 4.15. I spray this on around 11 a.m., and it's still coming off my clothes, coming off my skin. I received a few compliments as well. And actually there was a guy in the Nordstrom's that I went to, he was standing kind of close to me and I was smelling some new fragrance. And I'm not saying it was me, but it wasn't nobody else around him, but he was kind of looking over and just kind of glancing at me. And instead of him asking what I was wearing, I, you know, I, I assume that that was it. Um, him smelling what I had on. Cause we were, we were close and I know that had to be it. Cause I had it, I smelled it coming off of me. I almost told me, yeah, man, I'm wearing Profumo, but I ain't want to be like that. <laughs> I ain't want to be like that. I could have been dead wrong, but hey, I'm guessing. I'm guessing, I'm guessing. But anyway, this stuff is fantastic. The smell is great. How should you wear this? Honestly, you could dress it up. You can dress it down. If you're going out on a date, you can wear it. If you're putting on a suit, going to an event, you can wear it. If you're going to the office, you can wear it. If you're going to hang out and do some top golfing or go to you know a hangout spot, you can wear it. If you're just chilling, you can wear it. I think this is a versatile fragrance, even though it is deep and it's rich and it has uh, a spicy, smoky type of feel to the Aqua Dijo DNA. I think it is pretty versatile, and you can really, uh, you know, really do whatever with it, in my opinion. Um, when can you wear this? Obviously the summertime, the springtime, the fall time. I don't know if I would wear this in the winter time. Honestly, it smells like that you could wear it in the winter time, that it could push through. Now I live in Florida, so my winter is different from somebody's winter in, you know, Colorado or Milwaukee or something like that. My, you know, so Florida winter here, it may get down to the thirties a few weeks out of the winter, but ordinarily, we're talking about low 50s and the high could be in the high 70s or the 80s down here where I live. So yeah, I think I could get away with this in my winter down here in Florida. Um, so yeah, so versatile fragrance. You can kind of wear it all year round. Um, you can wear it anywhere to any type of occasion and really get um, you know, some compliments and some looks your way. Um, uniqueness, this is a unique scent, even though it is hovering with the Aqua Dijo uh, DNA. Um, just off one wear and only having this a few days, it's already up there for me as far as blue fragrances go. That's the category that I believe this is in, and this is the category that I will put it in with the blue fragrances. Um, so I kind of almost missed out altogether. A few weeks ago, Macy's had a sale and they were running some exclusive sales on the Aqua Dijo. And maybe that was a sign. A uh, buddy of mine, shout out to my boy said he was able to get his. He sent out the link that morning. I kind of budged on it, like, ah, oh, let me go resmell it. And, um, you know, so I didn't buy it right then. But then I just started seeing the comments and the videos, discontinuation. I went on to the website, certain websites, they didn't have it. They just had it in the 2.5. Uh, sizes, so I was like, man, let me stop playing. Max Aroma's running this great deal. Let me go ahead and cop, and I'm glad that I did. So I'm going to be wearing this quite regularly. This is a brand new bottle, so I do have some grace, and I kind of run around with it. Um, I'm not sure if I buy me another bottle, even though I know it's discontinuing, because um, I have so many fragrances, and I'm not saying that to toot my own horn, but it's like, man, I, I have stuff that I can wear and that I will be wearing, but I'm glad to have this. Between this, the original, and the absolute, right now, because I have to revisit the absolute, I'm still going to hang in there with the absolute. I like that a lot. It doesn't get a lot of love um, in the fragrance community, but I like it a lot. Um, I like that amber in there, um, a little sweeter takes on with the Aqua Dijo DNA. I like it, but this is great. This is great. Aqua Dijo Profumo, this stuff is really, really good. Really good. All right. So, um, so this is my review on it. Um, I think in just one day, it's probably the quickest review I ever got after having a fragrance. Why? Well, I know it's versatile. It smells great. Off the DNA, off the original DNA, you can tell the uniqueness there. It's more darker, more heavier scent, warm, spicy, um, you know, little aquatic, marine-like notes um, in this fragrance. And it just smells incredible. It smells incredible and it's going to get the job done no matter what. And it doesn't hurt that here. Yeah, it's a parfum. It's a parfum and that parfum concentrations, you know, you're getting some of the richest oils 
um, out there to create this fragrance. So all in all, I really enjoy it. Uh, right now, it's been very cool here in the mornings here in, uh, where I live in Florida. And then it's been your traditional warmer, almost hotter afternoons. And I must say, it did me well. I might even wear it tomorrow. That's how much I like this stuff. And I'm in love with the bottle, how it looks. So just a great purchase. I'm really happy and glad that I went ahead and cop and then find myself in a situation where I was paying two, 250 So what I'll do down in the uh, comments, I mean, excuse me, down in the description, I'll find the best available link and I will post it with this here. So hopefully Maxarama still has this on the sale that they um, that I got it for. And with that 10%, I was able to get it just under $100. So I'll look for that and post down. But if not, it will be some type of link down there for 4.2, maybe a 2.5. And I believe it goes all the way up to a 6.7 ounce uh, with this one right here, the Profumo from Aqua Digio. So um, all in all, great fragrance. If I had to, if I had to rate you, what would I give you? If I had to rate you, what would I give you? I'd give it a nine. I give this a nine. I give this a nine out of a 10. I see why it's classic and I see why everybody loves it so much. And if you can get your hands on this, grab it. All right. it will be great for your collection. Versatility alone, versatility alone for any time of year should warrant that. Um, office, date, hanging out, you can really throw it on and not really think twice about it with any occasion that you're going to, okay? So all in all, last time from the house of Aqua Dijo, we're talking about Aqua Dijo Profumo. Pro Fomo. Now I don't wanna, is it gonna do it? Technology, man, you kinda hope that it will. <laughs> so there it is, but anyway, um, Aqua Dijo Profumo from the house of Giorgio Armani, Parfum Concentration. Check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys on the very next fragrance video. All right, you guys be cool.